let's take a look at some important energy and matter concepts that could easily show up on the praxis. All right, pH. There's there will probably be a pH question. Uh, pH is refer, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you get a pH that is less than 7, then it's acidic. If it's more than 7, it'll either be referred to as either basic or alkaline. And exactly 7 is neutral. If you know that, that's all you need to know about pH. All right, refraction. Um, refraction is a change in the direction of a wave. The most common type of refraction is light refraction, but reality is any type of wave can refract when it interact with a medium. And then we have three different types of waves. So you want to be familiar with the definition but also with the examples. The type of question that you're likely to see is to give you an example and it'll say which type of wave is this. So longitudinal waves, these are movement of the particles are parallel to the motion of energy. Sound wave moving through the air is the most common example of a longitudinal wave. Transverse waves are movement of the particles are at right angles to the motion of energy. Uh, this would mean that movement of a wave through a solid object would be an example of a transverse wave. And then we also have surface waves. Surface waves are particles travel in a circular motion. Examples of surface waves are waves in the ocean or ripples in a cup of water. 